In this video, we will take a look at how to apply changes to JasperReport server configuration files on an instance deployed on AWS using the S3 bucket resource. So on a classic installation, uh, the way you modify configuration is in config files on the file system. When JasperReport server is deployed on AWS, especially as a cluster, this is not an optimal solution because the way cluster is deployed, when you just create an instance, you specify the maximum number of nodes, and by default, only the first node or the first EC2 instance is created. And then once the first node reaches a certain amount of resource utilization, I believe by default is around uh, it is around 40%, a second node is launched and the same pattern is followed until you reach the maximum amount of nodes. And if resource utilization drops, the nodes that are not used at the moment are going to be deleted. So on each of those nodes, you want your configuration to be applied. So the way to do this on Chesper Report Server deployed using CloudFormation template is to utilize a, an S3 bucket resource which is created as part of your CloudFormation stack, among other resources. So what we want to do here to apply changes to configuration files is create the folder structure to mimic the folder structure in the file system starting with the web apps folder where just report server is deployed. So the first folder we want we're gonna have to create is the web apps. And then inside it we will have to create the Jasper Server Pro. And then here I'm going to create the web NF folder. So the file I modified for this demonstration is the application contact security xml file and what it did is just added another locale and I'm going to try to upload this file here into the s3 bucket and let's look it up there it is upload all right, so here's my folder structure. The web apps, just for server pro, web NF, and then the modified file. So what I want to do now is restart my instances, and by default, again, I only have one, to apply the changes. Okay, so these are the instances. And I know that this is the instance in my cluster. So I'm going to just go ahead and restart it. And once I do that, the application context-security.xml file, which we applied it to the S3 bucket, should be applied to this node. OK, so I waited for the instance to restart. And now I'm going to go back to the deployed instance. The CloudFormation stack, open it again, open the login page, and we don't even need to log in actually to check this. Here are the locales, and here is the change that has been applied. The new locale has been added to the list. 